Hey, how's it going? It's Tony Sabal from the Atomic Fallout Society, and I'm here with the brains, the creator of the Tucson Comic Con, the one and only Mike Olivares. How are you? Pretty good. Thank, thank you. you very much. No, thank you for having us come down and uh, be part of the Tucson Comic Con today. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I've heard a lot of great things about the Comic Con and uh, a lot of great positive feedback. So, but my understanding, it's only been in its fourth year. This is its fourth year. This is its fourth year, correct? Yeah. So, how did it start out? Tell me. Um, basically, it started out in uh, the studio apartment that I was renting, and uh, got a bunch of my friends together. We were all hanging out, uh, you know, doing, you know, playing games, whatever. And we just started talking about, you know, the convention scene, you know, conventions that are happening around the, the not only the state but. Uh, out of state, obviously San Diego, Emerald City, uh, New York, Austin, all those, you know, a lot of the Wizard World cons. Um, you know, it just seemed like there's all these different awesome events outside of Tucson. And, you know, people in Tucson just sometimes can't get out, can't get away, you know, it's, it's tough. And uh, basically from there, you know, I said, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a comic book convention, you know, just thinking it was going to be, you know, kind of a... Uh, like the dirt merchant type, you know, kind of long boxes and, you know, people selling toys and, you know, but uh, I, I'm, I'm a big advocate for uh, writers, artists, like the art of making a comic book. So more for the creator. Yeah, yeah. So um, from there, I just kind of took it and, you know, I went and talked to a couple of hotels and just threw it kind of at them and, you know, they... We're a little apprehensive about it and just kind of like, yeah, sure, why not? They were probably like going a comic convention yeah, here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and everybody, when I would say Comic Con, they say, what is that? You know, what, what are you, and, you know, uh, and this was, you know, uh, close to almost five years ago now. Um, and uh, we did our first hotel uh, show at a, a Four Point Sheraton, which was a 1,200 square foot room. <laughs> You know, we did posters, you know, I had a lot of guys, a lot of help from uh, Evil Robo guys starting out, uh, Eric Shock, Taylor Garrity, they were pretty much just the guys like pushing me, like, dude, you're awesome, do this, you know, we, we want to contribute any artwork and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so having a lot of people put a lot of positive backing to me really helped uh, me keep going and we did the show and it was, it was packed, you know, obviously 1,200 square feet. But uh, it, yeah, it was it was crazy, and everybody that remembers that show remembers how busy it was and just how wall to wall people. <laughs> so well, how many how many tables or vendors or creators or artists did you have at the very first show? The very first show, I had about 40 tables or 30 30 tables. Mm -hmm. um, you know, local shops, uh, heroes and villains, uh, fantasy comics, art galaxy, all the. Of course, all the local shops supported the con, you know, and they, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll do this, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, from there, it just kept growing and growing, and more people uh, wanted to be a part of it, had a lot of artists, local artists, mm -hmm. um, contact us and say, hey, we want to do stuff, um, and a lot of people just happy that there was going to be a comic book type convention, or not really a convention, but a get-together. I, I call the first one a get-together. <laughs> it was like too small to be called a convention? <laughs> yeah, but you know, we had about five, maybe six hundred people, mm -hmm. um, and it was free. We did it free, so, um, and yeah, it was, just, it was, it was nuts. Um, now looking, looking back, looking forward, you, you have to be unbelievably pleased or happy with the growth of the and the demand, yeah. you know, like look at it now. This isn't this isn't a hotel. We're here. We're here at the Bookman's Bookman's Event Center. Event yeah. Center you know, so it's about forty thousand square feet. Um, you know, so yeah. you went from twelve hundred to forty thousand yeah. in about five years. Yeah, yeah. Well, we actually, and then the third year it was actually eight thousand square feet, and we grew out of that. Um, and all three years, first three years were free. So you know, the fact that we charge this year which was a little amount um, and we still got just uh, we met our attendance from last year yesterday at one o'clock and so everything from past one o'clock till today is our attendance numbers are up mm -hmm. and our vendors number our, our artists our writers people wanting to be involved all those numbers are up so 
you know, we did 30 tables the first year. This year we did over 200 tables, um, booths, stuff like that. So kind of, uh, um, you know, and it, 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 every year I get, you know, I surprise myself and, you know, the support, you know, I love the support that everybody's giving us and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep it going and, and just, you know, have a positive uh, outlook on it as far as, uh, why people should be coming to this event. Um, and, and like you said, you know, like uh, before Tucson Comic Con, were there any other comic book conventions here in town? Are you a, first of all, are you a longtime resident of Tucson? Yes. Yeah, I was born and raised in Tucson um, for pretty much about 28 years of my life. Or so, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I went to a few sh comic shows. You know, mostly they were just like a random. Ramada Inn, kind of, let's get some comic books, you know, it was really just to sell. Um, but nothing of the convention sort of. No, you know, besides Phoenix, um, you know, which was growing at the time. Um, and you know, of course there's really San Diego. Yeah, <laughs> which is a, a pretty big financial burden for a lot of people. You know, obviously the media attention that thing has kind of shoves comic books to the side. And, you know, it becomes, it's a pop culture event. It, it's... You know, the Comic Con, you know, something that's stapled with it, but, you know, and, and, and I understand that and recognize that, you know, because 250,000 people, you know, 500,000 over the course of five, you know, four or five days, you know, that's awesome. You know, obviously, if we could get to, you know, to aspire to something that big, that would be awesome. Um, I don't know if TCC can handle that. <laughs> But, <laughs> no, but that's the thing that I've been hearing from a lot of the vendors, a lot of the attendees, that this sort of Comic-Con reminds them of the old comic conventions in the 70s, yeah. <laughs> which was great for like the people that really love comic books. And I love hearing that, because in one of my first interviews that I did about the con, I said I wanted to give this con the kind of grassroots feel of an old school comic book convention. You know, um, of course we have stores and people that want to be a part of it. I'm not going to say, no, you can't be a part of this. But we're kind of doing something a little more untraditional, like to what, you know, um, or you know, not traditional as far as comic conventions go. You know, we really mix up a lot of the vendors and artists. We don't put all the artists in one area. Um, you know, a lot of people disagree with me on that, but, you know, an artist alley is kind of what it sounds like. It's an alley with artists. Who wants to go down an alley? <laughs> and I've noticed that this year you've got some really, uh, really, really well-known names in the industry. Guys like Brian Polito, yeah. Yeah. John Lehman, yeah. and you also got a uh, couple artists, Ben Glendenny yeah. and uh, Tony Parker. Yeah, we also have Travis Hansen come down from San Francisco. You yeah. know, and, and this is his first year, and he does a lot of events as well. You know, as well as Brian Polito, Tony Parker, and all those guys. You know, they. They actually had a chance to go to another convention that started up in California this uh, past weekend, and they said, "No, we're you know we're committed to this show, and we like this show. We're going to come down here." And, and uh, you know, they. It sounds like it's a fresh breath of air, you know, like because yeah. a lot like like San Diego, you mentioned Phoenix is really getting really yeah. getting yeah. a lot more in popularity, but some people like the smaller conventions yeah. where it's uh, much more. I'd say, you know, like uh, like you said, grassroots, much more fan-friendly, let's say. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's like, it's, it's I, I hope, <laughs> obviously, you know, as more people get here and more more vendors and more people want to be involved, you know, the inevitability is it's, it's going to grow. And, you know, in some cases, it's a force you can't stop, you know, and obviously everybody gets to that point where they become not like something they don't really care for, but... You know, I think I can get to that point, but still maintain it in the same feeling and same, you know, atmosphere. I think people will really enjoy it and, uh, you know, flock to it. We have so much more out-of-state attendance, you know, people from Texas, California, Nevada, you know, so uh, the fact that they come up and talk to me and tell me about it, saying they heard good things about the show, it's, you kind of got to pinch yourself, you know, every, every well, I've heard nothing but really positive and awesome comments about the con. I think you ought to be commended for that, you and, oh, no, and you everyone that's, uh, that's set up the Tucson Comic Con. Uh, you know, to close off, what, what, any future plans? What, what, what do you expect growing now that, you know, like your first year 
here at the Bookman Civic Center, Event Center. Yeah, yeah. You know, what do we expect more in the future? Um, uh, just more vendors, more artists, more creators. You know, we're going to fill this place up and, you know, eventually have to move out of it. Um, you know, we'll be here for at least another year, I'm, I'm you know, expecting. But, yeah, just bigger and better each year, and that's kind of the running theme we're going with and the running theme that people have been commenting you know, about the event. It gets better, bigger and better every year. And always at the same time this year, around yep. No November? Yep, yep. Uh, November, the first week of November is always, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have a reason why I did it that you just time. You just pulled it out of the air? Yeah, yeah. I tried not to step on too many people's toes as far as other conventions going around. You know, I, I may have done it, but obviously I wasn't aware at the time. But, uh, you know, I think it's a perfect time. Weather in Tucson is great in November. Oh, it's, yeah. It's come on. It's outside. Arizona. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, this is the time where the snowbirds come to town, you know, and like... Yeah, so I think people really enjoy that, you know, and uh, it's kind of up and down, but... Yeah, it's bigger and better and getting a lot more people to support it and that's what we have been getting and, you know, it's, it's been great. It's, it's uh, totally blown my preconceptions of what, you know, it was going to grow into. It's five years. Such, such, yeah, it's such five a years time. time. Yeah, yeah. So next year will be the fifth annual Tucson Comic Con and just saying that is like, oh, it's been five years and, uh, you know, it'll be November, uh, the first weekend of November and... My brain's so scrambled, I can't think of the dates, you know. And nah, it's I okay. mean, it's not that hard. It's two days back from this day. <laughs> so. Well, I want to congratulate you again. Oh, yeah, you thank know, you. Thank I you very much. That. You know, uh, where can we, uh, for those of us on the Internet that rely on the Internet, where can we find out more about Tucson Comic Con? Uh, basically, www.tucsoncomiccon.com. Uh, you know, we have a Facebook, which we're really heavily, you know, always adding and just kind of talking out there and saying, hey, it's what we're doing. Uh, we want to start doing a lot more monthly events to let people know, build up every month. But, uh, yeah, our, our website's pretty uh, streamlined as far as just getting you the information, who's going to be there for next year, what we're going to do, what we're going to have, where it's going to be at. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be at the Bookman's Event Center this year, of course. But next year, obviously, the same place. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's a great it's a great venue, I think, and uh, a lot of people seem to like it. And we're gonna try to fill it up next year, so you know. Okay, so that's the us, so. that's the Tucson Comic Con on Facebook, Mike Olivares. Thank Appreciate you very much, it. my Thank friend. <laughs> and we'll definitely be uh, coming back for next year. And yes, keep us posted with any other monthly events that you guys might be pulling right here. Definitely, we'll do. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you again. That's Tony Small from the Tom Society here at the Tucson Comic Con. Thank you.